our nation's foreign policies is very important for our sovereignty, our economy, and our nation's security. So, I want to see what our presidential candidate, Michelle Bachman, has to say about foreign policies. Mike, uh, hit the clip. Better late than never is no way to conduct United States foreign policy. Right. Finally, after weeks of violence by President Assad against his own people, President Obama has called for President Assad to step aside in Syria. This is yet one more instance of President Obama leading from behind on foreign policy. The President should have acted weeks ago to call on President Assad to step down when his regime started slaughtering and oppressing his own Syrian people. By this count now, it's thousands of Syrians. Syria has long been a state sponsor of terror. It is one of four state sponsors of terror listed on the State Department's website. Allied with Iran, they are unwilling to conclude a peace deal with, and they are a direct threat to the United States ally and best friend in the Middle East region, the State of Israel. They are also seeking to become a nuclear-armed nation, and clearly it is unacceptable for Syria to become a nuclear-armed nation. But the President has taken his eye off of Syria and Iran, which unfortunately has strengthened their adventurism. I strongly condemn Syrian President Assad's brutal use of force against his own people, and I urge President Assad to step down immediately. I'm confused to try to understand. Okay. First off, our land is our nation's boundaries. Now, how does these policies help with our land, especially with the situation that we are already in with our economy falling apart? Now, I know y'all like, okay, well, she didn't say that we were going to go to war. No, she did not say that, but it always leads to that. Anytime you stick your nose or somebody else's business, it leads to war. They've been hyping this propaganda for the longest with Iran. Now we, it's just everybody in the Middle East. We just, it's our enemies. It's like, for example, say if you and your spouse were arguing, and I'm your neighbor, and I go over there, I'm like, look, man, y'all need to shut the fuck up. Okay, you might slap the shit out of me then, but you might don't. Okay. But you're going to be pissed off at me for doing that. You don't stick your nose in nobody else's business. See what I'm saying? So as soon as a leaf fall off a tree and land on your car and the tree in my yard, oh, you going off. Best believe it. And that's what's been going on. We've been pestering too many people all across the globe. And that's how all these wars are starting. And it's hurting our economy. We've been at war for over 10 years straight. And paying about $2 billion a month in um, Iraq and Afghanistan. we paying interest on that money. I didn't ask for that war. So should I have to pay, you know what I'm saying, the interest on that war? But we are. See, that's the type of shit I'm talking about that pisses me off. I didn't ask for the war. Okay, Michelle, if you want to go and start pestering Syria and you want to go use your powers to go do, you go pay for that shit. See what I'm saying? And I want the middle class to wake up because they the one that's being affected the most not the poverty I say this to the whites, blacks, latinos Asian, Indian and whatever you may be um, Arab it don't matter if, you, if you're if a United States citizen and you are in the middle class you are being squeezed right now into submission seriously see it's more black people in poverty than anybody. And the poverty level, a lot of, I mean, okay, for example, it's about 30% of African American people are unemployed. We ain't heard.
hurting like that though. See what I'm saying? We're not hurting like that because we used to it. It's the middle class that's getting fucked up. Okay? So you want to understand where you lie at and get your shit straight. Get your mind right. And start listening to this propaganda of every time some country don't do exactly what we want them to do. Oh, we pissed off and they got to step down and their regime got to change. Fuck that. Y'all do what y'all want over there. Let us handle what we need to do over here. Don't be fooled. And for another example, I'm going to lay this one more example on you and I'm going to go. They keep laying this foolish propaganda on us over and over about Iran. Oh, they were getting a nuclear weapon and they get Okay. First off, y'all said that about Iran. What happened to the questions of masses? There was none. Okay, who gives a damn if Iran gets a nuclear weapon? Oh, it'll take years for them to create. That's one thing. And by the time they create that one, what they gonna do? It's like, say if I got a gun. I got my one little gun. It's a nine millimeter. Would I be foolish enough to go run inside a house full of mafia gangsters who all holding Uzis? How foolish would it? I won't do that because they'll blow me to smithereens. And neither way I ran. I ran and not thinking about attacking America. At all. Trust me on that one. Believe it. Because they know we'll blow them to smithereens. But this type of talk right here is unsafe for us because even though they won't start nothing with us, if you keep pushing somebody back against the wall, any punk will come out swinging. You can't just beat up on somebody all the time thinking they're not going to come back swinging. So what I want y'all to do, uh, leave your comment, let me know what you think. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. It's just my opinion. See what I'm saying? So I want to hear what your opinion is. Leave a comment.